What's up? What's up, Jamal, over here to your left? Right. What's going on? How are you, man? It's obviously uh, been a bit of a break, but you're back. Huge card, fight week again. How's it feel to be sitting up there again? Uh, feels pretty good, man. Feels good. Just ready to get to Saturday, get in the cage, and get my hand raised. Yeah, and you had the little uh, interaction with Alex yesterday that kind of went around. Uh, what did you take away from that? Anything, or was it all just good vibes? You wanted your, your signature on your jacket? Yeah, it was. Just, I just took away the fact that I appreciate him taking time out to sign that for me. It was just something that I wanted to get from this week. You know, I'm just enjoying the time that, you know what I mean, just my time. You know, we, we life is but a vapor, so I mean, enjoy it. This is one a very special moment, very special car, very special week and, and fight. And uh, I just want to take it in as much as possible. Yeah, and kind of along that theme, you've talked about, you know, your story and some of the difficult times you've come through in your life to reach a moment like this. Like, do you reflect and what you've been through or do you do that after? Yeah, that's something for after. That's something to, yeah, well, as you said, reflect on the job ain't done yet. Yeah, and just last thing for me, um, of course, endless speculation about the injury and the recovery and stuff. Do you remember the day during your rehab, whatever it was, where you got back in there and you're like, this feels right now. I'm, I'm ready to go towards the fight again. Uh, I've been feeling like I was ready to go for a while, you know, but, you know, I listen to the team. I listen to the doctors and... So I don't know. I can't really. I don't really have an answer for that. For the simple fact of I've been ready to go since I since I got hurt. When you get in the cage on Saturday, is that when you're only gonna hundred percent get that confidence back in it, or is that not even lingering in your mind? What? I don't even know what how you even came forward that question from what I just said. What? Fair. No, fair enough. Am I only gonna get a hundred? That was strange. <laughs> Jamal, talk to me about the mentality for this fight, right? You were the champion. You had to give that up through injury. You didn't lose that through a fight. So do you feel like on Saturday you're defending your title or are you using this as an opportunity to be the challenger, climbing to the top once again? I just feel like whoever wins Saturday night is the champion. That's just how I feel about it. Obviously, when everyone talks about Alex and his fighting style, the calf kicks is something that comes up again and again. I saw you post something on your TikTok sort of talking about those and making light of it. Do you have a strategy in mind for those calf kicks, or do you think, hey, he has to worry about what I'm doing, not the other way around? Um, I have a strategy for everything. You know what I mean? You should have a strategy for everything. You shouldn't want to get hit with anything. So, yeah, I plan on dealing with every weapon that he has. Obviously, you got to talk to your friend Israel Adesanya about Alex. Um, how good a resource was that just to be able to call him up and get some tips from him? Um, that's a... It's an invaluable resource to just be able to reach out and pick, pick, a little, pick at one of the best minds in combat sports and have him who's had more experience with Alex than I think anybody that Alex has ever fought. So it was good. It was a great conversation. Jamal over here. How's it going? What's up, James? Um, the rest of camp looked like it went really well. Um, I know you train with a variety of different partners. Are there any names that you train with that maybe we don't know about that uh, we should be knowing about in, in the gym? Um, you know, yeah, for sure. I'd love to get a shout out to my guy, uh, big dog, Brett Martin. Brett Martin has been my secret weapon for my camp since I since I came into the UFC and since we linked up. He's a he's a heavyweight. He's a he's a big boy. He don't he's a he's another guy who don't get any love just because of his physique and things like that. You know, you know, people talk about my body, bro's got a, bro's body's pretty tough, but uh, his 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 abilities are are unmistakable and they're they're incredible. They keep me sharp. Um, I'm always able to bounce things off of him and uh, and learn learn with him and grow with him in the gym. You know, whenever he, whenever he comes in and he's and we're working, we we get after it. And he knows me pretty well now, so he's able to actually shape out some other challenges and things like that for me. And yeah, he's been he's been invaluable. I've also worked with a couple of the guys uh, that were local from uh, that fight for the bare knuckle, uh, Mohawk Mohawk Esteban uh, Rodriguez and um, Eric Lozano. A couple of tough, like, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're tough. Esteban's got, he's tall, long, rangy, and uh, <laughs> he, he, he fights. 
And uh, speaking of Michigan, um, how cool is it having Cody Brundage on this card? You both used to fight for Lights Out uh, Fighting or Lights Out Promotion. Um, have you spoken to him this week? I haven't seen Cody yet, uh, but yeah, that is actually actually pretty dope. Um, they asked me who I, who I wouldn't mind being in my locker room. I told them definitely uh, I, I would like to have Cody Brundage in my locker room. Um, it's 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 special. It's it's definitely uh, special. Just just that for me and him because he was the last fight before contender series he was on that card we were on the same card before i uh before i joined the ufc obviously i went went on contender series and uh ended up getting signed he went on contender series and um was later signed and now both on main card ufc 300 is <laughs> is wild so yeah that is pretty dope and just last one for me not looking past saturday but do you have kind of like a timeline of like how often you want to fight this year is it just about you know opportunities and location and all that like how do you sort of determine your schedule after after saturday if all goes well i haven't looked past saturday so i'm just focused locked in on saturday i want to make sure i get the the result that that i want saturday and that's the main focus jamal to your right uh, I noticed earlier you quoted Ecclesiastes saying that life is but a vapor. During this process from the injury now going into this fight, what do you feel like you've been taught most? That is even that, even more so. Appreciate the moments. Yeah, appreciate the moments. Just it could have all been over. It really could have all been over for me. Um, there are people, there are athletes who have suffered this same injury who – had to had to call it call it a quits on their hopes and their dreams, and uh, I'm fortunate enough to now be in a time, and was in a position to where the best medicine available was available to me, and I was able to take advantage of that and use the resources to make my way back and come back in a time that people really just can't seem to believe. So, thank you, uh, Jamal. Is he? Jamal here. Uh, you already on? you already fought and won uh, f against four Brazilians. Alex Pereira is the fifth, and it's a big name out of Brazil right now. Mm -hmm. How was the experience to deal to deal once again with the Brazilian audience on social media? The Brazilian audience is different than <laughs> the, uh, Alex's audience, so it's it's been a it's been a different experience this time. I'll say. And I would like to know from you, uh, if somebody told you three years ago that w you would be headlining UFC 300, would you believe that? What would you think at that time? If somebody told me I'd be headlining UFC 300 at the time, uh, I'd, I'd believe it. I believe it because I know myself and I know the, I know the uh, belief I've always, hold in my, I've always held in myself. But it would have been, it would have got me hype. It would have definitely had me excited. You know, um, I don't know. I just always planned on being in these moments and being in this situation ever since I was a kid. Like, you can even ask my dad. My dad is here right now, you know. Um, just from the time I was a kid, I just always believed that I, whatever I did, I was going to be one of the best at it. For a time, it was football. For a time, it was basketball. Whenever I sat in on fighting, it was I, I knew I would be here in moments like this fighting for championships and able to have an opportunity to put myself up there with the greatest names to ever do it. Thank Jamal Luby. I know the, there's a lot of talk about Alex Pereira's fast rise in MMA coming from the kickboxing scene, but it was just in 2019 when you won a contender series contract. And this time last year, you were originally supposed to fight in a fight night headline and you got the short notice call to fight Glover in which you won and became the first contender series graduate to do so and become champion. So do you think people are kind of putting to the side your fast rise in this sport into now ultimately headlining UFC 300 as well? I don't know. I don't care. It's like, that's not important at all. Fair enough. Like, he's, he's, he's a great fighter. He just, it's just, that was his opportunity to show his greatness. His opportunity came fast. And uh, he stepped up to the occasion, and that's good on him, you know. And I, I feel I've done the same with the opportunities that I've been given. So this is just that next opportunity. Fair enough. Yeah, I was just mentioning because, you know, you also went up through a fast rise. But that image when you and uh, Alex were looking at each other after you beat Glover, went around in the lead up to this fight, did you ever imagine that that would be the root of such a thing like a UFC 300 main event? 
Uh, no, because it was just a handshake. <laughs> was, he was over shaking my my corner's hand. I went over and shook his corner's hand. So that's pretty much what that was. Thank you. But I did see that he could possibly be an opponent in, a, in the future. And I was excited for it. I wanted him to win. When I got hurt and I had to give up the belt, it was like, all right, what's the best course? What's the, what's the best that could happen now? Because somebody else is going to win the belt. Who better than Alex to win the belt? Like, you know, y'all think he, y'all, y'all, and he is, you know, he's a, he's one of the, he's a two, he's the, what, two division glory champion, two division UFC champion, kickboxing, great, can, uh, hands of stone, bad man, just a monster, dangerous, scary dude, he's, he's all those things, but watch what I do to him. Jamal, first and foremost, I like your shoe selection. Very nice. I not. Uh, wait, wait. You know I tore my Achilles in, in this in the, in the uh the gray ones, uh, right? Yeah. <laughs> it was hard for me to put these on today. <laughs> it, uh, and is there any truth that did you go to the same doctor as Aaron Rodgers? Yes. Well, yeah. Aaron Rodgers went to the same doctor as me. Ooh. Did you guys? Uh, you mentioned that you played football. Did you guys have any conversations, you and Aaron? I know he's a big MMA fan. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I've never met Aaron, so I never, I never like talked to him or anything like that. No. Got you. Uh, the Jets could use somebody uh, like you to catch the ball. But uh, speaking of quarterbacks and Super Bowl, like UFC 300 is kind of like a Super Bowl big time. It's going to be a lot of focus on you. Um, on one of your fights on the walkouts, uh, I heard the commentators talking about your calmness and your coolness. Do you believe that you have that that clutch? Uh, the, the attribute, the, the trait that you can just come through in the biggest moments? Yeah, yeah, that's something I, I just know. I just trust myself. That's one of the biggest things that I hang my hat on is the fact that I know I'm, I know that just naturally I, I show up. It's who I am. It's what I do.